Hello YouTube, it's Das Grigger, and welcome back to a Linux second glance at Calculate Linux. Now, I've heard the excuse once or twice or three times before that Gen 2 is too hard to install, that it takes way too long to set up that all the compiling just to have it fail before you can even get to a GUI interface is so frustrating. Well, let me tell you something. If you're afraid to jump in and do vanilla Gen 2 with all the compiling from scratch, but you want a great stable desktop that gives you an opportunity to play with Gen 2, check it out, see what it has to offer, and works just fantabulous, let me suggest Calculate Linux. Now Calculate Linux is a Russian distribution based on Gen 2. It is a sweet and easy method to get Gen 2 installed. It allows you pretty much the same way that you would install Debian or Slackware or any other distro to take a snapshot of what they have done, lay it down, and get it working without all the headache of going through the Gen 2 handbook. Now granted, I don't find it a headache to go through the Gen 2 handbook. I've installed Linux from scratch so many times, and I don't mean Linux from scratch. Gen 2 from scratch. I've done Linux from scratch once. It doesn't make me an expert. And Linux from scratch makes Gen 2 look like a cakewalk. But if you still have troubles with Gen 2, but you want to check it out, you want to see what it's all about, look at Calculate Linux. Right now, we have the Calculate Linux KDE version of the desktop right here. This is out of the box installed vanilla. Now when first booting into this there is a live DVD that you can use and I utilized that putting it onto a USB stuck and then booted into it. The graphic installer did not work for me. I was getting an error that looked like it was attempting to open up a web page on the local system but there was no web server running so I'm not sure what it was trying to do and maybe I got a bad snapshot when I did that I did have to go into the console and read the install tech page and follow the instructions to use the command line interface install tool uh, that allowed me to create the system install it make everything run now, I'm not sure how the GUI works on that and if it's any different, but it created a guest user account and with the guest password, etc. All those things, though, later you can change. You can create, once you're in your own environment, your own username, your own password security, etc. But everything is working otherwise. Very impressed with Calculate Linux. It was very simple for me to go ahead and install a few applications that I wanted to use such as GUVC video, simple screen recorder. Uh, what you see right here is your general desktop that you would have. Uh, you have your trash can here. Simple screen recorder of course icon right there, snipping tool, sound, networking, time, and your lock screen, exit, etc many applications are already installed for you inside of Calculate. So if we take a quick look, because I don't want to go through the menu as if, oh look at this, look at these menu items. Most of these things you're going to see, but I just wanted to kind of let you see that everything that you'd normally be wanting to see for KDE is there. It does come with Chromium as the browser. Conquer is also there as a browser and I like to use Conquer as a file manager as well more often than a browser. Skype is pre-installed for the system 
available and ready to work. Uh, you do have K3B for your burning. Uh, I, of course, installed Simple Screen Recorder and GVC. It does have the Amazon Downloader and Amarok for your sound player. It comes with Libra Office, and I believe that the kernel is 3.15, if I am remembering right. The rest of this stuff is pretty much just your typical what you would find for utilities and system files. Now one of the things that was a little bit different with Calculate Linux, if I go into a console, uh, might be in system here, I usually do emerge for everything, but the first time with Calculate I had to use the EIX commands, so I had to do an EIX update and sync and allow that to go through. But for installing anything else, you would use the typical emerge. For instance, if you're looking for GUVC viewer, I like to always type it out and do a, a dash S to search first to make sure I have the right way to spell it. And when you emerge a file, you always have to make sure that you're typing it in case sensitive. So if they have, for instance, a capital in the middle of the package, you need to make sure that you're emerging that with that, with the capital in the package. So you can see here, this is there. And if you were to do an emerge dash, I always use AV. A means ask, V means verbose. I always like to make sure I have as much information as possible and I never want to be blindsided by I think that it's going to install one application and suddenly it's installing 20 something applications. So I always like to have it ask me before it installs. So I always use the dash AV command. And if you see here, if I type in GUVC view, hit enter, it should of course show that it wants to reinstall it since I already have it installed. But um, uh, I forgot that I don't have super user. Let me go into super user real quick here. And now let's do the emerge AV GUVC view. That should, like I said, pull up and ask me to reinstall it. But you'll see that it looks exactly the same because pretty much we are in Gen 2. But all the hard work has been done for you. You get a chance to try out Gen 2, pretty much jump in there. Now, granted, the biggest thing about Gen 2 is learning Gen 2. You know, and there's so much to learn. And Gen 2 has some of the best news articles, troubleshooting guides, wikis on how to do just about anything out there. Honestly, I, I have not found anything that I've wanted to do for Gen 2 that I've not found some sort of a wiki or how-to out there already created showing me step-by-step step how to make it work. Now you can see that we already have a GUVC view that shows up. The use flag is Pulse Audio because it's going to use that. We're going to say no because we already have it installed. But as you can see, we've got a fully working portage. We've got a fully working Gen 2 system by Calculate, of course, but for all intents and purposes, this is Gen 2 without having to go through and do all the manual partitioning, downloading a kernel, compiling your kernel, everything works. My wireless works, my sound works, my, I don't want to say internet works, but internet is wireless in, in effect. I think also Bluetooth, I'm not quite sure about that one. And let me see if I take a quick look here. If I see anything Bluetooth related in the system here, because I don't remember seeing anything about Bluetooth, but I'm sure that wouldn't it be that difficult once you get to this point to go ahead and install Bluetooth capability. Yeah, and I don't see any Bluetooth files or applications for that. But for the most part, 
Your mouse is working, your keyboard, your video, your sound, your network. Everything that you would need to get started is up and running and running beautifully with this flavor of Gen 2. Now, Calculate Linux can be found at the Distro Watch or CalculateLinux.org. It is a great way to get an introduction to Gen 2. Find out how you can get started if you're afraid of going through the Gen 2 handbook. There's a lot to offer here, and there's just a lot to to just jump right into and look at. Now I've got the Calculate Linux webpage, and you can see that 13.19 was just recently released about a month ago. I wanted to come back and take a look at this because I've been doing some second glances, as you might call it, at different Linux distributions that I've looked at over the last year and a half. And I wanted to look at Gen 2 based distros again. And this was one of my favorites when I did some reviews last year. Now it says here too that pretty much 14 is going to be coming out pretty soon and that will fix some of the bugs. So maybe that might fix my install issue that I had. But for the most part this is great because you can get this in a KDE form. You can already get it. If KDE is not your thing you can get it with XFCE already available as well as a media version. Uh, you can do the Linux Scratch from scratch style. I'm assuming that's going to be more of getting you to a command line interface and going from there. And I do believe I saw somewhere where there was a GNOME version as well, but I'm not seeing it right about here in the release notes from July 2nd. But, you know, I've had a lot of people who have tried to follow my Gen 2 install guides that I have and though I know I know I know those are very dry kinda of difficult to sink your teeth into and I don't talk about if you run into problem this or problem that uh, it pretty much if, as long as you follow the guide and, and work your way through it you know things seem to work but every once in a while there is a hiccup and like I said I don't discuss problems that you may run into this is however a very quick and painless way to get started and it's wonderful this is like I said one of my favorite uh, Gen 2 based distributions to play with and believe me if I ever got tired of starting over <laughs> this would be the flavor of Gen 2 I would probably use because of how easy it is to just get it up and running and then go from there. So that is the review of Calculate Linux. If it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, I hope you enjoy it. Try out Calculate Linux if you want to try a Gen 2 based distribution and tell me how you like it. And until next time, I hope everyone has a great one. We'll talk to you later. Bye guys.